I'd like to, at this time, finish our program with, again, the most important people, a couple of our students that are here. And these students came to me after they started to hear some of the construction behind the bungalows at the high school. Because the Metro piece is not about the litigation. It's that it's up against our backs, literally, where you can see it, you can hear it, and you can smell it. And so I'd like to introduce and well reintroduce because many of you have known them for quite some time and did a great job with their instruction and their personal development. Uh, they asked me if they could have a little bit of time today to speak with you. They are setting up meetings, education meetings with parents and with students, but they came to me and said, could we start with the staff first? And so it is my pleasure to give them a few minutes to end our program today. And I'd like to introduce you to our student board member, um, Sean Tooby, and also the ASB president, and also a senior, um, Ryan Abersham. Sean, we're going to rule the world one day. Just wait and see. And Sean, when that day comes, you better be by my side. And so I, the realistic child, said, Ryan, let's start with high school first and see where we go from there. Next thing you know, we've gone through three years of high school. And as rising seniors, we cannot believe how quickly time has passed by. We've been lucky to have access to all Beverly has to offer, from diverse clubs and a robust student body to challenging courses and some really, really, really extraordinary teachers. <laughs> However, there is one issue that has recently come to our attention that could threaten the future of our school district, the quality of our education, and most importantly, the health and safety of our students and staff. And that is Metro's decision to tunnel underneath our high school. For years, the district has been in litigation with Metro, but with really nothing significant achieved, many in our community seem to no longer care about what's at stake. But now, right now, Metro is preparing to tunnel beneath our high school. This summer, Metro began their construction in a staging area right behind our bungalows. This will be the location of all their work, just 15 feet away from our classrooms, or three arm lengths, approximately the distance between Ryan and I right now. Our primary concern is the health risks involved. For over seven years, Metro will be using this staging area to tunnel underneath our school. Over 300 diesel trucks will go to and from the site each day. This will expose all of us to toxic diesel emissions and dust that will pose a risk of cancer 10 times greater than the appropriate level for students our age. There are also nearly 70 to 80 unmapped oil wells under our campus. And the soil is intoxicated with arsenic and other chemicals. And digging into this region will expose methane and hydrogen sulfide gas into the air. These gases are not only cancerous, but are also extremely flammable, which can cause dangerous explosions at Beverly. In addition to these health risks, the construction will generate high levels of noise and vibration, 
that will create an unbearable learning environment for our students and staff. State educational guidelines recommend that noise levels do not exceed 35 decibels near a school zone, yet Metro promised in court not to exceed 65 decibels. But when I and other district personnel toured a classroom at the high school this summer, the sound level levels were far exceeding even 65 decibels. And keep in mind that this was all done indoors. I can't even imagine what the decibel recordings were like outdoors. So I, uh, I want everyone to take a look at these videos for a second. Imagine that. Imagine lecturing in a classroom where everything around you is literally shaking. And by the way, Miss Pinku, that is your classroom. <laughs> I know I can't learn in that environment. Do you think you can teach in it? For a better understanding of these noise levels, I'll make a quick comparison using a history teacher at Beverly, Mr. Marika. Every day, Mr. Marika begins class with a loud, Good morning, everyone! And everyone was responds back with a good morning, Mr. Marika. Once every few weeks, Mr. Marika holds a competition to see which of his periods is the loudest. The winning period usually reaches just around 30 decibels. A classroom of screaming high school students. Metro is allowed to be that loud, and we have records of levels double that number. So you see, the facts are out there. There is no doubt that Metro's construction will pose a health risk to our students. There is no doubt that Metro's construction will disrupt the learning environment at our school. Metro expects us to take this issue lying down. After all, we're just students, right? Just students who could never be a multi-billion dollar entity. But they're wrong. One thing I've always valued about our community is its heart. Whenever we see an issue we care about, that we feel will impact our students and staff, we take a stand, we fight. We saw that earlier this year with our high school students walking out to protest gun violence. And we see it today with our teachers and staff sitting in the audience fighting for a cause they believe in. This. with Metro is in our control. We can take action. We will take action. We will not allow our health and our safety to be compromised by corporate interests. And we will definitely not do it alone. Over the coming month, students will be rolling out strategies to draw attention to Metro's actions and to ultimately divert their route from underneath our campus. We will communicate with the community through media outlets and actively pursue opportunities to protest the subway with all five BHUSD schools. These are just some of the actions we're going to take. When we start, we're asking all of you to stand behind your students. This is what our education has been building towards. You've taught us to take responsibility for our futures and to demand respect from those around us. Now, let's show Metro what our community can do together. Thank you. 